of protests that were held earlier on in the day in Butere. Residents there taking to the streets protesting against the uh, level of insecurity that has heightened in that particular area. Willie Lusigo covered this particular um, uh, protest earlier on in the day and he spoke to a number of leaders who also showed up in that protest and he filed this for us. Today what we have seen is Butere residents march all the way to Butere police station to anger out their voice after one of them was allegedly killed by a police officer on Monday evening around 9 p.m. And they're trying to make out that they want to see the way forward in regard to the arrest of that police officer and also improving the security of Butere. But apart from that, we have also seen a number of leaders from this re region lead together the members of the public, including former Kakamega senator, Dr. Boni Halwale and the member of parliament of Butere, Tindi Mwale. Let's just speak to them in a moment. Mwishmiwa, you've been here. What have you discussed and what is the way forward in regard to that? Uh, we are unable to create common ground with the chief of security here. It is very saddening that a youth who was going about with his normal way of earning a living was shot dead by a police officer. And as if that was not enough, the police officer who killed the boy for which reason we are here the commissioner the commissioner has allowed him to put on riot gear he is carrying tear gas ready to tear gas us the same man called Omondi who has killed our boy we do not understand what is going on in the head of the chairman of security because the first thing he should have done was to disarm that officer because he has misused a firearm and he has killed an innocent member of the public. So we are here, we are demanding that this so-called Omondi be disarmed, be arrested now and be arraigned in a court of law. Two, the commissioner of Kakameka County, he's not up to it. It is only five days ago when students at the Bushyangala Technical Training Institute were raped and masse the whole night and the, the police commissioner did nothing. It is only yesterday when a truckload of police officers, which was carrying people who had been found enjoying their local brew of busa, which by the way is legal, drinking busa is legal in the Republic of Kenya. They were carried on that Land Rover, the driver the police officer driver was drunk and they rolled with the Land Rover that was carrying the innocent people who were enjoying the local brew. So the things have gone rama completely in this sub-county, in this county. We should overhaul the entire